Right, so finally had enough of this uh, OW18E meter, the fact that it turns itself off uh, far too regularly. Um, you can keep it on, but uh, when you hear the, the bleeps, when it's about to turn off, you have to press or uh, do something. I press the hold button twice uh, and that keeps it on, but it is just constantly going off and I am absolutely sick to death of it. So. Um, no, I didn't think I would ever do this <laughs> after my experience of the cheaper flukes. But I've ordered a Fluke 179, uh, and this is by no means a cheap multimeter, so it had better do exactly what I want it to do, i.e. not turn off uh, every 10 bloody minutes or so. Um, this is around the 500 quid mark, it's a true MS true RMS uh, with backlight and temperature, um, category 3 and 4, uh, genuine fluke accessories, well yeah they may well be but I'm not expecting the top of the range silicon leads but we'll see. Um, I just couldn't carry on any blooming longer with that uh, meter. All these cheap meters seem to have some issue and uh, going off every or whatever it was is a real pain. So I thought we'd have a look at, uh, at one of these. It can go back if it's not doing the job. So first of all, it is, a, you know, a decent size, like all the old fluke meters of uh, of old. And um, yeah, this is a seventy uh, fifth anniversary uh, model. Um, yeah. It's got the nice fluke case, as you can see, screen protector, um, just looks like any of the old flukes from years ago. <clears throat> Gotta hope the display is okay. <laughs> uh, let's peel that off and uh, see what else we've got in there. Okay, so we have some 500 quid and they can't supply a decent set of cables. <laughs> they don't even feel like it's silicon. Oh, Jesus. Shocking. Look, they're stiff as a board. Okay, it's what, for eight and a half degrees in here. But silicon uh, leads do not behave. <laughs> In, uh, in that manner, they would be soft, flexible. Uh. Right, please let the display be okay. Yeah, I think it's probably okay. It's cold in here, as I say, uh, probably the Display isn't the best ever, but uh, that doesn't look too bad. Let's plug these grotty bloody leads in and uh, see how quick it is. It's unbelievable. How can they charge 500 quid and not supply a decent set of leads? That's unbelievable. But it's just. <laughs> Make it up, could you? 500 quid. Stiff cables. <sighs> Barely straighten the bloody things out. Right, are we ready for the automatic? Oh, I hope you can even see this. Ah, oh, these bloody lights. Because you can't adjust the height, it's uh, you know fixed. How are we going to be able to do this? Mm. <laughs> Let's go for that. I can even see that myself. I mean, it's, it's 
It's not too bad. Let's, what if we put it on a range that we usually use on the other one? Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, that's pretty quick. Yeah, that's not too bad. Now, what does it say about staying on? We have a quick guide here. Capacitance, milliamps, hertz, all the usual bits and pieces. Diode test, how to change the battery. It's got a nine volt battery. Shows you the two fuse positions. No spare fuses as far as I can see. Perhaps there is some in the back of the machine. Now as I say, we really, really need to know what the situation is with the standby time and things like that. Four hundred hour battery life. Not even sure any of this is in English. No, literally it isn't. It's just that front page. So uh, we may have to go online. And have a look at that because we've got bugger all information on here and we've actually got what, three pages okay accuracy is specified for one year after calibration uh, maximum voltage on thousand blah, 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 blah. ten thousand counts Frequency 33 segment updates 40 times a second, and we've got nothing about standby times or how even to activate it or disactivate it or deactivate it, even. So, back in a minute, all right, just back after that interruption. And I thought I'd show you uh, some leads here. We have some leads from uh, Timu. Not expensive. I think I bought three sets for a, you know, a tenner. But nice and soft. They're not uh, high quality leads, but they're damn sight better than the rubbish that uh, Fluke have supplied with this. Here's a set of Fluke leads. These are TL175s, silicon, uh, super flexible, no issues. I can't even remember what I got these with. They're um, I've obviously used them quite a lot. They're completely blunt, so we're going to have to sharpen those up. Can't even remember what uh, meter we used these with. But uh, we've got a category change option here. Um, you can remove the shroud. Or if you're not so bothered, you can leave it uh, like that. So that is a decent quality of fluke cable. I might look those up actually, see what they cost. Um, so why the hell are they supplying this with a 500 quid meter? So the display looks absolutely fine. I've got no problems with that. We'll have to go online and get the user manual and uh, Let's see what that uh, mentions about the auto off. It does react very quickly to the button presses. I think you can probably turn that uh, bleep off as well. well. I hope you can because that's quite annoying. So, yeah, better display. Sorry about the lighting and the reflections. Um, so that's probably going to do the job uh, better than all the other rubbish that I've tried. I'm just really, really disappointed with those leads. <coughs> but uh, yeah, that will be good. Save me ranting and raving every day when the bloody meter goes off. 
Right, so yeah, it was just a quickie. I mean, everybody knows the quality of these uh, higher end uh, flukes is, uh, you know, uh, superb. Um, just a shame to have to spend that level of money really to get everything I need. But it should last a lifetime. And uh, yep, just a quick look. So I'm just going to add this uh, clip onto the end of the unboxing of this Fluke 179 that I did a week or so ago. I, uh, I didn't upload it because I pretty much ranted about the state of the uh, test leads that it came with. Uh, this is a 450-500 quid uh, meter and the cables that it came with were <laughs> absolutely shocking. I actually complained to Fluke uh, about it and uh, after two or three days I got a reply and uh, they are going to post out some fluke uh, twist lock uh, silicon cables. I have a very old pair of uh, twist locks uh, here so you can change the category of the uh, of them uh, by just, just twisting and locking into place um, so these are old and pretty worn out, but they're still better than the junk that it came with. Um, but I wanted to show you why I've decided to go over to Fluke. You'll recall some months ago I tried some of their cheaper Chinese <laughs> meters, which were just bloody awful. The displays on them were dreadful. Uh, uh, and the meter I had been using, as I think I've mentioned in the, the earlier part of this video uh, was just a very annoying turning itself off constantly after just a few minutes. Uh, you could easily turn it on or stop it from doing that but it, it was just such a pain in the ass. Anyway I just wanted to show you a couple of things first of all. So when you turn this on it is incredibly quick. The display is fantastic and if we just test this auto ranging out with a short We'll see how quick that is. Now the other thing is if you want to uh, disable the standby mode you can press and hold the yellow button and turn it on and you get that power off disabled message there and uh, I mean, it's, it's that's absolutely great. If it did happen to power off uh, you can bring it back on again just by touching the yellow uh, button and it will bring it on so quickly that by the time you've looked away from the meter to the uh, the probes that you're using it's already there and uh, ready to go uh, so I am delighted uh, with the actual meter uh, and when the new test leads arrive uh, I think I'll be uh, extremely pleased uh, the test leads they're sending are around about 32 pounds I suspect uh, I've seen them around about that price. Uh, why they don't supply them? Gosh, I'd even pay a, you know a little bit more to have them with the meter uh, because the meter is fantastic, uh, as you would expect. Uh, expect, expect. This is a 75-year um, anniversary uh, model, uh, hence the little thing there. But yeah, as you can see, the display is uh, you know fantastic at pretty much any any angle uh, so yeah it stands just in the right place it sits right back there perfectly readable just at the right angle and uh, is very very fast which is exactly what I wanted uh, when you're in uh, the workshop all day long uh, taking lots of uh, quick measurements uh, the fact that it can stay on and, uh, or if it does happen to go off because I've forgotten to turn it on with that uh, it, press that it's on in second you know a second just no more than that really uh, as I say by the time you've looked away from the meter back to your workpiece it's ready to go so uh, excellent so a good result in the end um, if you've got that level of money in the workshop to spend then I would uh, highly recommend that and don't even bother looking at the cheap uh, Chinese ones that they, they sell with the fluke badge on the front. Uh, weirdly this one is uh, labelled assembled in America so I assume it's Chinese parts but why would you assemble it in America? That, that doesn't uh, make a lot of sense uh, really um, but yeah, anyway there you go I should probably ask fluke that question 
it's uh, clearly assembled from non-American parts. Uh, so why go to the cost of assembling it in the States? Bit of an odd one, but delighted with the meter. <laughs>